let us first take a look at the actual uh, houndstooth pattern and let's try and isolate a part of it and what shall we notice that if we isolate a square that it keeps repeating it's actually made out of four quarters of which one is white one is black and the other two seem to be just diagonally striped uh, squares so can we imitate this yes we can we shall need uh, two squares of white two cubes of white two cubes of black now I have to warn you that my final square uh, cane will be slightly deformed and that is because I am using the famous infamous white primo I wanted to try and do it first with Fimo but unfortunately I did not have enough black I had some white but not enough black I would suggest uh, for this specific cane to actually use either a female professional or Kato because it is a cane that uh, relies a lot on precision and straight lines so as you can see I'm using the smallest uh, square cutter and the clay is on the thicker setting and I'm just cutting squares and uh, there are six uh, stacked one on top of the other to form the cubes and of course I am afterwards using the square pairs to make sure that they are uh, nice and actually perfectly uh, cubes, you know. So uh, once that is done because of the Primo, I am going to place my cubes in the freezer for at least 10 minutes. I ended up by with them being in the freezer for like half an hour but uh, that is to ensure that your lines will be perfectly and straightly cut I still didn't do a perfect job but that is because I cannot really cut perfectly straight if I don't look from straight from above and right above is the camera so divide your cube into four diagonally make first a cut from one corner to the other and then the remaining uh, cut them again in two and now all that is left is to uh, swap each alternate slice from the white to the black and uh, as much as I tried to condition a lot the black, the white was still way softer than the black. So you'll see how it ended up. It's pretty, but still it's not perfect. Um, then uh, reconstitute your cubes once you have swapped everything. And um, you have to be fairly precise, as I said. That's why I recommend doing this game with female or female professional or Kato as you can see I didn't cut perfectly straight down but oh well you know and this will show <laughs> later in the cane um, so yeah make sure that you place your diagonals perfectly aligned and you'll have to um, flip one of the cubes because they have to be to look mirror like now to create the hound's tooth pattern and I'm making things a little bit brighter so we can see better just place your diagonals like this and you know whenever I have to unite four I prefer to do them uh, two at a time and then put together the white and the other diagonally cut cane and then put them together and see they will form the hound's tooth and all that is left now is to reduce and of course I'm going to speed this up
now that um, it is all reduced let's try and see if we have four inches so we can cut it in uh, four equal pieces and i hope you noticed how the white kept trying to push out more than the black and i honestly i did lose waste a lot of clay that is quite unusual for me but that was all because of the white that is so stretchy and soft and i told you i tried leaching it but it doesn't seem to work <laughs> now let's uh, put our quarters together and what all you have to make sure is that all those little teeth have the same orientation because they will form that other little pattern on top of the black square by themselves you won't have to worry about it um, forming because it will get see right there in the middle and now we shall reduce this as well and there will be a little bit less uh, end cane deformation but again it will not be perfect and that is because of that white primo clay i still wanted to show you the cane because i intend to make a pretty project with it and i will talk about the uh, trends for the fashion jewelry for fall and winter soon and the piece that i'm going to make with this will be part of that trend so just again make sure that all the little teeth face the same direction and then put them together yeah it takes a little bit <laughs> to figure it out but you'll figure it out and there we go our little hound's tooth pattern yay Happy clean and make sure you make a little cane because you'll need it for the project.